Well, and what's interesting about natural medicine is you can approach each person the same as far as just getting them healthier. Right. Making sure they're exercising, making sure they're eating regular meals. And you always uh, have a funny little thing. You always say, eat the salad at the end of the meal. You know, you always want to make sure that there's a vegetable in that meal. And it's, it's very helpful for patients to remember, all right, I need those vegetables. You may not do it on a regular basis. And it makes you feel better. So um, focusing on the gut is really important in natural Well, in naturopathic medicine. medicine, there's always a big emphasis on a few things. Number one, the diet. I mean, it's hard to be healthy if your diet isn't healthy, which mm -hmm. a lot of Americans, it, is, it isn't. So we have to work with patients over time to improve their diet, diet to get good nutritional status. Number two, improving digestion. Due to stress, due to medications people use, a lot of people have poor digestion and detoxification. Mm -hmm. So by just just by doing those things alone, improving diet, improving digestion, detoxification, and helping people with stress, mm -hmm. and quite often hormone balance as well, mm -hmm. boy, I mean, that helps the majority of people right there significantly. Well, speaking of hormone balance, women's issues, menopause, infertility, PMS, uh, you mentioned osteoporosis, I believe, all of those issues can be helped by naturopathic medicine. Oh, very, very well. Uh, a lot of those women's health conditions in regular medicine, in my opinion, are not helped very effectively mm -hmm. for symptom relief, also not in a safe manner. So in naturopathic medicine, we have things from different herbs which help to balance the body's hormones naturally. They don't mm -hmm. give you hormones, they balance your own hormones. Mm -hmm. uh, we know studies show by improving the diet, for example, you can help a lot of hormone-related mm -hmm. uh, conditions. Uh, improving detoxification, just as an example, your liver processes all the hormones in your body. So you improve liver function, you have better hormone balance. Um, and then for patients with severe symptoms, we are trained in using natural hormones or bioidentical hormones. So we can use those as well to help patients in a safe and effective manner too and relieve just a whole host of different hormonal symptoms. Men, you know, you get men with the low testosterone, we can dress that herbally or using natural hormone replacement. So there's a lot we can do. Well, and that's the beauty of it. You can start with doing diet, lifestyle changes, move up to supplements, herbs, and if you need something stronger, go ahead and use the natural hormones. Well, a lot of tools. That's what differenti differentiates us from many different types of other doctors and practitioners. We have more tools to use more flexibility to help the patient with their symptoms because patients require different treatments. If you have 100 patients, let's say, with you know, menopause or arthritis, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to have to use different treatments depending on their unique situation mm -hmm. and symptoms. In naturopathic medicine, we have the tools to be able to do that. Very adaptable, very flexible, very effective. Well, in that kind of full circle with something like skin problems, skin conditions, they can be, like you had said, when you grew up with acne, that's debilitating for a teenager. And I know with our kids, you've made sure that they use natural soaps and that they're cleaning in a certain way to prevent them from getting the acne that well, you have. Well, skin conditions is a great example of how naturopathic medicine treats the root of the problem. Often in conventional medicine, skin rashes and things like eczema, psoriasis, they're treated with topical treatments, mm -hmm. often topical steroidal treatments. And that can help for a period of time. It suppresses the symptoms, but the condition's always there and often comes back strong over time and you need stronger medication. With naturopathic philosophy, we're going internally into the body. We're looking at why is the skin flaring up in the first place? So things like food sensitivities, again, poor digestion and detoxification, the mm -hmm. toxins often come out through the largest organ of elimination, that's the skin. So you improve digestion and detoxification and lo and behold, the skin clears up. Mm -hmm. uh, poor skin health can be representative of nutritional deficiencies like essential fatty acids or B12, things of this nature which we check for. Mm -hmm. um, so again, natural medicine for especially long-term skin conditions often is superior because we're treating the root of the problem, which mm -hmm. often is internal. Now we may still use some natural topical applications mm -hmm. just to give symptom relief right. while we're treating the patient internally, mm -hmm. but as naturopathic doctors we'd prefer to treat the person internally mm -hmm. to resolve the external problem, which is the best long-term way to approach uh, conditions like that. For sure. Now something that can be life-changing, skin conditions can be life-changing, but something that can also be life-changing, uh, diabetes for example. Now that can be, that can start in uh, young children. Oh, diabetes is skyrocketing amongst children and adults in the United States and around the world. It's what we call a pandemic. It's worldwide an issue. In the United States, anywhere between 30% up to 50% of American adults either have pre-diabetes or diabetes. Their blood sugar is going too high. And we know without a doubt most of these cases are related to diet and lifestyle. Uh, too many refined carbohydrates in a diet, not enough fiber, not enough nutrients for your insulin to work properly to get that 
glucose or blood sugar into your cells. So with naturopathic medicine, using exercise, using proper diet, using supplements shown in studies mm -hmm. to help lower your blood sugar levels, um, and even more indirect ways than that, just as one example, look at your stress glands, your adrenal glands. Um, when your stress hormones are out of balance, your blood sugar will rise. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you have chronic stress and your stress hormone cortisol is high, your blood sugar tends to go up. So with naturopathic medicine, we address all these parameters and help patients with weight loss mm -hmm. effectively. And a lot of these patients with type 2 diabetes, prediabetes, we can eliminate that problem um, if our protocols are followed. And that's what I love about doctor as teacher. You're really teaching them why it's important through education. You're not just telling them, take a pill to help your diabetes. You're teaching them this is an effective lifestyle change so you don't have problems later on with the diabetes.